Hi, it's Sandy Wiley. Today I'm going to talk about something, oh, everyone is familiar with. It's secrets. We all have them at, or had them at one time or another. Um, we've all expended a great amount of energy <laughs> trying to keep them. And is it really worth having the secrets? I tell you no. I don't believe in having secrets. I think secrets destroy relationships. And you have to expend so much energy, time, and worry about someone finding the secret out that it's just riddled with anxiety. Think about it. If you're trying to keep a secret and you don't want anyone to know, um, you're going to worry about people finding that out. Um, you're going to go to great lengths to try to cover up your secret. But if you are honest with everyone and have no secrets, no worries, right? Now, growing up, this is a book I wrote, Life with My Schizophrenic Father. My father had schizophrenia, but growing up, I never knew that. I didn't know my father had schizophrenia until I was in my 30s after I was married and had children. Why? Because I was never told it was a secret. What my mother did is say, you know your father isn't right. Well, what does that mean, isn't right? You know? I never knew that my father had a mental illness. I never knew that I had a mental illness, borderline personality disorder. I didn't know a lot of things. In fact, I didn't even know my own nationality. My mother used to say that I'm half Italian, but from the northern region, not from Sicily. Never ever tell them that your um, grandparents came from Sicily, which they did. Tell them they came from Naples. Later on, um, when my father died, I found out that it was Sicily. I don't know why but they believed Italians from Sicily uh, were more damaged goods, I guess, than northern Italians. I don't know. Also, they, they told me, never tell people that you're Portuguese. I'm half Italian, 25% Portuguese, and 25% English. I don't know why that was a big secret either. And there was another big secret. My mother, my father was my mother's second marriage, not my mother's first marriage. Another secret. You see all these secrets? So in this book, Life with My Schizophrenic Father, I tell all about my childhood. No more secrets. The secrets confused me growing up. I didn't know. I, I was like baffled. Like, who am I? Am I Portuguese? Am I Sicilian? Um, you know, I didn't know what to say to people. I got, as a child, very confused by everything. Because, you know, what's going on with my father? You know, I don't understand. You know, I'm so confused. You be honest with your children. Believe me. You think children can't handle things? They can they can handle the truth. What they can handle is secrets. I just don't believe in them because I grew up with them. It's like shame, okay? What do secrets bring? They bring shame. When you carry a secret, think about, I don't like to go into politics, Bill Clinton, when he covered up about his affair with Monica Lewinsky, okay? That's a great example. I would have, I'm just going to give you my personal take on it. I would have admired the man and respected the man much more if um, he, he admitted the mistake. Yes, I did have, you know, extramarital um, relations with Monica Lewinsky. I'm terribly sorry. Um, this won't happen again. It, it was a grave mistake. I would have had more respect for him coming, coming clean, telling the truth, and saying, I never had sex with that woman. 
see he's he's shrouding it in shame you know especially he's really giving her all the shame too that woman you know so it would have been so much better if he had been honest i made a mistake yes this happened and you know i would have had much more respect for the man but anyway that's just my personal take on it now Dr. James Barbaria, emails of an unethical psychologist. He hid the deepest, darkest secret of all, sex with a borderline patient. You can never have sex with your patients. You, you lose your license. It's an automatic, it's malpractice suit. You can get sued. You can go to jail in some states. You lose your license. And he tried to hide the relationship with me from everyone and let me tell you how much shame that brought it, he brought himself shame and he brought me shame because he didn't i didn't see his family he never took me to see his brothers he um his friends didn't know about me his best friends didn't know about me i was like a closet uck rhymes with puck <laughs> that's what i was because the whole relationship was on a secret the whole relationship and secrets breed shame they breed shame and he went to the grave he died at age 62 of a heart attack because i went to the board and filed a complaint and they were going to prosecute him and he could not stand to go trial he knew he was going to lose his secret and then he would um he's, he would lose his license also lose lose the secret he'd have to tell all his patients that he can no longer practice um because he you know had sex with a patient so he died so he didn't have to live in shame by divulging that secret I imagine he'd have to tell every single but anyway what I did is I put all his emails in, I put them all in this book because I'm through with secrets. I don't believe in secrets and I want people to know because people, you know, they have this guy on a pedestal. That's not the only guy. They have this guy on a pedestal, love bombed by a Harvard psychologist, Dr. Richard Geist, Harvard and he teaches at Harvard now, too. And he, t he lectures throughout the country, okay? He has some deep, dark secrets. And I divulge them inside this book. The things he did in the so-called therapy with me, he wouldn't want that out. But I'm like Marilyn Monroe. I hope I don't get killed in the middle of the night. <laughs> Because everyone suspected that Marilyn Monroe was keeping secrets. About the Kennedys, she kept secrets. Um, about the Mafia, Mafia, she kept secrets. There, so there was, uh, and she was keeping a diary. And I think she was going to let make that go public. And there's a lot of controversy, conspiracy, that she was killed because of those secrets. Secrets are never a good thing. This is the last book about the affair I had love outside the boundaries and that looks just like dr james barbaria he looks just like that um people keep secrets and it really is like a big big weight on their shoulder you know very very big it's it's so much easier to tell the truth for instance i had uh an affair at work when i was a security guard this older security guard, over 20 years older than me, kept pressuring me to have sex. And I was in a very low point of my life. Um, it was only like a two-month affair. Very, very short. And I ended it. And I told my husband about it. And I also, you know, um, went to the human resources and reported him for sexual harassment. Because after I broke up with him, he wouldn't stop bothering me for more sex. He'd be pounding on the security door because um, he worked in the mall across the street from me 
and he he would call the security line and harass, 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 harass. Well, I told my husband everything that happened, and one night, ten o'clock in the middle of the night. Well, it's not in the middle of the night for some people, but I go to bed very early. <laughs> His wife calls, and my husband answers the phone, and she goes, Do you know that your wife is having an affair with my husband? Now, I think she did that call so to punish me, you know. She already knew about the affair, because I called, um, I had made a complaint with Human Resources, and I think they let him go from the job, um. I don't know really what happened, but he never went back to work at that mall after that. I don't know the details. But anyway, I think she wanted to punish me by telling my husband. And she wasn't punishing me because my husband already knew. And my husband answered her like this. My husband said, yeah, I know. I'll take care of my wife and you take care of your husband. Good night. I bet she was shocked. <laughs> she was shocked because she probably thought you know she was really sticking it to me by telling my husband but see if I had kept that secret and I didn't tell my husband what do you think would have happened then he would have been finding out from that man's wife and then there would be a big confrontation and then I'd either have to lie and try to cover it up or you know fess up and deal you know I just don't think secrets picture this scenario now you have two best girl pals right now you tell one best girl pal something and you tell her not to tell anyone okay you don't want anyone to know then she goes and tells your other best girl pal that you didn't tell you know you didn't tell her you only told say you didn't tell sue you only told ann okay and Anne goes and tells Sue. Now, look at the, the situation you got yourself in there. Because Sue would be very upset with you. What? You didn't think I was a good enough friend to confide in? Why did you just tell her, you know? I don't understand, you know? So right away, there's like a betrayal of trust. Because why did you tell one friend but not me? You know, I don't mean that much to you. It's just... I don't know. I don't believe in keeping secrets. That's me, okay? It always gets people in trouble when you do keep them. I found out, and I'm 58. <laughs> I say my age because I want people to know, you know, I lived enough life to have gone through experiences, you know? And in my experience, I've always found out that it's no good to keep secrets. That's what I'll leave you with today. And I'll put the links to the books below. And I hope that you will read all these secrets these psychologists wanted to keep. But I, uh-uh. I let all, everything out of Pandora. I opened Pandora's box. And I'm letting them all fly out. So people will really know the real deal about these people. Okay?